Alex, I suppose uh, we've got to reflect on the finale first of all. It was a perfect ending for Mitch, wasn't it? Yeah, he, de he deserved it, doesn't he? I mean, he, as we all know, he's been an amazing, uh, amazing cricketer for this club for, for a long, long time. Uh, a wonderful man, um, put his heart and soul into this club for, for so long. Um, it was very fitting that he managed to be there at the end and, and, and get the sort of send-offs that he thoroughly deserved. In terms of the game itself, it was it was a, a really solid performance from you in this one. I mean, all three days really good cricket. Yeah, I thought first it was a superb wicket, um, a great cricket wicket. Um, I thought there was something in it for everything. I think if you could occupy the crease for long periods of time, you could score runs, as was shown. Uh, equally, if you could bowl enough balls in the right area, you know, it, you could be threatening as well. So I thought it was a, a great wicket, but. Yeah, I just think we did the basics of the game really well. We were disciplined and accurate with the ball. I thought we caught really well, generally speaking. Um, and, and obviously we had most of our batsmen um, occupy the crease for decent amounts of time and, and managed to get some good runs. Uh, Joe Leach, again, very much the fall. He's been in really good form since we've come back to Red Bull cricket. Yeah, I think this September he's been outstanding. Um, he, he, you know, by his own admittance, he's been frustrated at times throughout the beginning of the summer. Uh, didn't quite get the rewards for the effort he was putting in, but I think this September he's been outstanding. Talking of the catching, you're losing Daryl from the slip call, and he's obviously been a, a key man over the years, and, and, and Ricky Vessels was in there as well, but it looks as though in Jack Haynes and Ed Barnard you've, you've got a couple of real good snappers in there. Yeah, um, you know, we work really hard on the catching. Obviously, we, we've shelled a few this year, but there's been a lot of drop catches around the circuit, actually. Speaking to most coaches, it's been, a, it's been an issue for most counties. Um, but it's part of the gig, but they, you know, they practice extremely hard um, and it looks like we've got a couple there that could do a job. So uh, we'll continue to work on that when we come back in November and uh, hopefully um, hopefully have a solid quarter at the beginning of next year. Um, reflecting on the season as a whole, I know you've used the word disappointing in the past, but uh, there have been some positives. One of them, Dylan Pennington's progress, which showed towards the end tonight. Yeah, I think it's been one of those years where you know we we've fallen short from a team perspective. You know, we acknowledge that. I think um, we started each competition extremely well, and we're, we're in the pole position in each competition. You know, until sort of halfway, three quarters of the way through each comp. So, you know, certainly we played a huge amount of very, very good cricket, very competitive, um, which I thought has been what well, was very, very good at, at those moments in times. Obviously, we slipped off the pace, which is something we need to talk about and, and, and try and improve. Um, but I think it's certainly been a year for some individual improvements. Dylan's obviously won. Um, and I think Josh Baker's been outstanding. I thought Brett D'Oliveira's had a very consistent year. Um, Ed Barnard too. Obviously, Libs has had an outstanding season. So, you know, from a coach's point of view, you obviously want the team success, but also, our, you know, our job is to try and develop the, the individuals. And, and, and I believe there's been some, some really good improvements from, from a lot of the team. That said, it's the end for Daryl Mitchell, it's the end of an era in that sense. You've also got Matthew Wade coming in next year. There have been one or two other personnel changes with Ricky and Ross going as well. So once you've had your break and you start planning for next year, there's a lot to look forward to. Oh, definitely. You know, I think it's something that the club hasn't been through for a little while is, is an involvement of the team. You know, it happens. It's part of the cycle, isn't it? That, you know, sadly, players finish, they, they move on. Um, but obviously that creates an opportunity for, the, for this sort of young, the younger part of the team to, to take ownership of what they want to do um, and, to, and to try and uh, create a culture and environment they think they can excel in. So really, really looking forward to, to getting back already in November. Obviously everyone needs a break. They're absolutely shattered physically and mentally. It's been a long slog. Um, but I'm really looking forward to, um, to what this group can try and create over the, next, uh, over, the, over the winter and into next season. Thanks, Alex, and have a good break yourself. Thank you. Cheers.